Hey, where do you think you're going? To talk to the old man. You're the only one who actually showed up to pay him a visit. You know he talks about you a lot. Does he? Yeah, about you being granted human rights. He's rooting for you. So maybe it's not such a bad idea. You can go in. Your glasses is too big and long, man. You need to get, get who? What size is them? Why his glasses that big long? Look at that. <laughs> Welcome back to Robocop Rogue City. What's wrong with our team? What losers? We're about to go see our partner. Let's just run here to the hospital real quick. Out the window. Hey, there. Silver lining. All right, cool. It's too heavy. I pulled a hamstring because of that. I pulled a hamstring because of that. What the hell is he talking about? All right, so I'm going to try to do this. We're going to try to finish um, chapters 9 and 10, I believe it says. And then that'll leave us with two more to try to finish the game. And then I'll go do some trophy cleanup in case there's something I forgot. Wait, why are you asking me about my liver and kidneys? They shot me in the leg. We can offer you a higher standard of accommodation. She's waiting for you, Murphy. If you decide to sell. Just get the bullet out and let me leave. Come on, give me the skinny. I want to know everything. Ah, oh, Murphy, we started the party a little early. I hope you don't mind. Sorry, partner. It's my fault. I just got to hear what's happening at the precinct. In usual fashion, OCP's doing everything in its power to keep the police down. Come on, this is time to celebrate. Lewis is feeling better, Wendell's in jail. Let's party. If you don't think a strike is brewing... You know what? Let me get this grouch out of here so that you two can talk. Okay, okay, I'm going. Feel better, Lewis. Let's party! You look well. I gotta admit, I sleep better knowing that you got that bastard. But what about you? How have you been lately? Did you get any more of those visions? I still see things. You know, ever since Antonowski showed up, they seem to be happening more often, and with greater intensity. I don't think I've ever seen you in such a state. I just know how it affects me. So I can't imagine how it affects you. The fact that he's the brother of one of those guys who shot you. We should not let the past haunt us. Easier said than done. His presence reminds me of the day that I, that I left you. I often think that maybe if we didn't split up that day, things would have gone down differently. Neither of us could have predicted the consequence of our actions. That doesn't make me feel any less guilty. What I don't get is if Wendell is actually the brother of one of your murderers, then why did he come out now? After all this time? And why didn't he kill you when he got a chance? That is what I intend to find out. Right. Is it true that he's working with someone from OCP? That is what he claims. Damn Becker. We should just lock him up already. I would like that. Maybe there's someone who'd be willing to help us? I don't know if you heard, but the old man ended up in this hospital after his heart attack. I'm not even sure if he's in a state to talk, but it probably wouldn't hurt to check if he knows anything, right? Anyway, I think I need a little rest after all this excitement. Thank you for visiting me. We'll be back to working together in no time. I look forward to it. All right, go to the VIP. Why ain't she in the VIP wing, man? Who says we'll get her the best health care money could buy and all that, but she down here with these people. And this dude is in the hallway. This dude is being treated in the hallway, bro. What type of insurance you got? What type of insurance you got when they treat you in the hall, my guy? Did you hear? We're moving the old man to a private clinic in 20 minutes. Good. Excuse me. I don't think I can last a minute longer in this stench. The fuck out my way! Hey, where do you think you're going? To talk to the old man. 
You're the only one who actually showed up to pay him a visit. You know he talks about you a lot. Does he? Yeah, about you being granted human rights. He's rooting for you. So maybe it's not such a bad idea. You can go in. Your glasses is too big and long, man. You need to get, get who? What size is them? Why his glasses that big long? Look at that. I serve this town with every drop of my sweat. I always try to improve people's lives. I always good to them, just like you told me, mother. Who's he talking to? Michael, is that you? Your halo shines so bright. Do not worry, you are safe. Robocop? You came to see me? Like a real friend would? <laughs> I get close to my final days. And I just can't stand this uncertainty. But you came back from the other side. Tell me, how was it? Was it unbearable? It was like waking up from a long nap. A new man. I hoped that would be the case. I believe that death isn't the end. You are walking proof of that. Unfortunately, I have not completed all I set out to do. All the saboteurs inside OCP won't let me. Are you referring to Max Becker? That weasel seeks not only to destroy you, but also my company. Be wary of him. I know you would never let anyone jeopardize the good name of OCP. <sighs> Before you go, could you be so kind and give me some painkillers? I feel like that's not even the same voice actor from earlier. It could be, but I'm bugging. I ain't giving you no painkillers. I am not qualified to administer medication. Please, anyone help me? Old man didn't preach. I don't give a damn. Oh. What? Get out my face, man. I need my pain. Man, I already, so I already told you what shit did. Let's get out my face, bro. Well, longer do I? Why the long face, Robo? They'll pump him full of OCP's cocktails and come Monday morning he'll be back to signing deals. I'll kill you on the other side. Who was that? I won't allow you to treat me like this. I am the mayor of this city. Robocop, you have to intervene. Is there a problem? This man is preventing me from exposing OCP's hypocrisy. The way this hospital treats its patients is the best depiction of what OCP wants to do with this city. A brave policewoman shot in the line of duty is crammed into a small room while the old man has a cozy VIP wing of the hospital all to himself. This is what Delta City stands for, even bigger division. But the time you had your tonsils removed, you were staying in the VIP wing, too. We're not talking about me. We need to talk about the people. Robocop, please stop this madness. Make a statement. That policewoman is your partner, isn't she? So tell us, doesn't she deserve better? Hey, man, I'm trying to manipulate me, man. You was out there, you was out there in the VIP wing as well for tonsils? For tonsils. The security guard already snitched on you. All right, I don't want to have a conversation with you because I'm not going to make you look good for these cameras, man. Get out of here. The hospital is not an appropriate place for political scuffles. Just what I expected from an OCP robot. They want to ruin this city. They want to take it away from the citizens, but I won't let them. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. Vote for Kuzak. Okay, guys, we'll vote for Pedro. We should find him. Get up out of here, man. Him a no, nothing here, right? cozy secluded preferably once they ask you if you want to leave the area i suggest you make sure you didn't miss anything i've been preaching that but somehow in the last mission i missed something 
I missed the whole ass side quest in the courthouse. I don't know if it's necessary for the story or not, for the um, platinum or not, but it don't matter because I can reload my uh, one of the checkpoints and do it later. Right now, I'm trying to get to this correctional facility. Robocop is huge. Did Mr. Becker's intentions become clear? Maybe he wants to thank you for catching Wendell. I only seek answers. You came, so you can follow a command. Surprising. Surrender, or there will be trouble. Defiant as usual. Your creator screwed up the job by not installing an off switch. Well, it doesn't pay to fix their mistakes. It's cheaper just to replace you. So, Robocop. Meet the future of law enforcement. Power like yours, but at the push of a button. That is why it is not only more effective than you, but infinitely more obedient. That's just a fragment of the speech I had prepared. But hell, this product speaks for itself. Robocop, what's the status? This I gotta no beat them in 10 minutes for a trophy. Yeah. Gunshots? What's going on? Becker has introduced to me Terminating aggressions. Mr. Becker bragged about them during my onboarding. I'll try to find something that could help. Just give me a sec. Crazy. in front of the OCP board. I'm looking at the footage now. Let us see if they ever got around to fixing it. Warm up is over. Get ready for the real strike. I'm out here trying to open up boxes. Am I wrong for this? I knew the guy that made you. It's Bob Morton, right? And Am I wrong for these? Arrogant brown nose. I'm happy that he was dead. One less asshole on my way to the security. Restoring order. and wanted to shut it down. He was certain that your brain was what was making you superior to them, so Becker continued to work on the project in secret. He took a big gamble. Hey, who are you talking to? Is that Oedipus guy helping you? Well, once I'm done with you, his career is over. You are durable, I'll give you that. You could become a strong part of my urban enforcement unit.
straight charge. <laughs> Becker knows you are helping me. He gave me access to the OCP data himself. Under these circumstances, I feel obliged to use them any way I see fit. Until now, I didn't want to damage you too much, but no more. Alright, I wanted to stay in an area where they couldn't sneak up behind me. Really convenient that they all spawn right in front of This is crazy with this circuit board. I got like the perfect. Never mind. Stop talking. Stop talking. Don't say shit. What the hell? 
hell just happened? Becker! Oh, just stop right there. Great performance, RoboCop. And Mr. Becker, it was an excellent presentation. You promised to show me a reliable remedy for this crime wave. And you really did. Yes. I've been working on UEDs for the past five I'm years. I meant RoboCop. He's proved once again that he's still the top player. Excuse me? It just barged in here and started accusing me of conspiracy without a shred of proof. It is not stable. I have Wendell's confession. Oh, do you mean the guy that's been harvesting human organs? <laughs> Very reliable source. You keep forgetting that your organic components are the bane of my entire existence. They complicate things. I need a simple tool. A tool that I can control. And until this remote is in my hands, I have that... Oh! Well, it's uh, time for me to go. Thank you, Mr. Becker, for your presentation. I'll be watching the progress of your project. But until then, keep up the excellent work, RoboCop. And you better keep an eye on that remote. You mad, man? Keep getting a B, man. All right, well, we can we can put some of these up. I got the combat up. We do more damage, which is perfect. I'm thinking maybe we go armor and vitality. Let's go armor. Give ourselves a little shield here. We're gonna get all of we're gonna get these up to level six, and then we'll start looking at the rest of them. That should do it. What's going on over there? Becker's here, and the cops are not happy. Becker tested an army of robots on Robocop. Can you believe that? That is so unethical. Hey, Think Becker's a mother pyramid without our supervision? Where's the motherboard at, though? Right. Okay, I hope it's over here, like, right where the objective is. It's a new age, and you have to accept it. My robots are here to stay. Detroit will become the first city policed entirely by my machines. No brains, no glitching, total control. So that's it? You just gonna replace us? You've already been replaced, honey. Can't you see it? What are you talking about? Murphy's one of us. You're a little confused. That's RoboCop you're talking about. Murphy's the guy who's legally dead. That's it. We are going on strike. We are cops. Cops do not go on strike. That's the spirit, old timer. I have important people to meet, multi-million dollar contracts to sign. You know, the usual. Well, that sucks. We can't just sit here and do nothing. You can do something. Your cruiser needs cleaning after your last shift. If you have a hard time finding something to do, come to me. That goes for the rest of you, too. Murphy, briefing room, now! Well, yeah. Damn. I didn't... First of all, I don't want to hear a word about those damn robots. We have a job to do. Now that the milk is spilled, we are looking for a mole in OCP that's been protecting Antonowski. As hard as it is to believe, Becker is not that guy. Yeah, but he's still a prick. Sure is, but there's still a mole that we need to find. It's gotta be the rookie. I'm sitting right here. So? We start by asking the source. 
What are you suggesting? I pay Wendell a visit in jail. Good thinking. You can try to squeeze a confession out of him. If I get my hands on him, I will squeeze more than just a confession. So we gotta go to... Hey Murphy! That news lady's in the lobby waiting to talk to you. What's she want? Robo, do you have a minute? Listen, I wanted to say that I misjudged you. My crusade is against OCP. You were just collateral. So to extend an olive branch, I'd, I'd like to give you this. What is it? It's the tape of you glitching the other day at the mall. It's the only copy, so you can do whatever you want with it. I am sure your TV station would love to play the tape. Yeah, that's why you need to take it before I change my mind. Thank you. Now that I have you here, can I interview you as a consolation prize? They want me to ask you about the election. Seems that people value your opinion. I would be happy to oblige. Okay, roll the tape. I'm here at Metro West conducting an interview with a man that needs no introduction. Robocop. One of the more contentious points brought up during the election is the construction of Delta City. Many believe that Delta City will destroy old Detroit. Mayor Kuzak spoke at length about the illegal evictions that OCP has been planning in order to start the construction. Other candidates, namely John Mills, believe that Delta City is a chance to clean up the city. What are your thoughts on this subject? Is Delta City the future of old Detroit? I would focus on current Detroit. Thank you for clarifying your stance on this important topic. This has been Robocop for Channel 9. Samantha Ortez, signing off. Thanks for the interview, Robo. We'll get out of your hair as soon as we're done packing up the equipment. You only asked me one question? Good. I can get the hell on with the story. I appreciate that. I saw I Becker tear the rookie a new one for what he did at that factory. I wouldn't be surprised if he was already. All right, let's leave the precinct. Hey, sh oh, she is doing real good. She had that fire in her eyes. Here we go. We should be headed to OC. work once you know where they spawn it from because they just they come out of those little containers Robo. all right there's no it's called there is a thing in here the prisoners waiting in the visiting room oh gonna have to strip search you belt keys loose change huh <laughs> i'm kidding just keep walking i don't think that was funny good to meet you robocop I appreciate the room is at the end of the corridor. My man, like, yeah, yeah, bro, right there, he's super corny, bro. That's your co-worker. I, 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 I hate it has to be you. Thank you, bro. That man back there's a loser. Good to see you in my prison, Robo. Did the inmates at the entrance welcome you properly? I felt at home, almost. I'm glad you're here. I want to ask you about the man you're here to see. The only thing I know is that he's no ordinary prisoner. OCP are keeping his record secret. So who is he? Just another slime that tried to run the city. I'm afraid he's something more than that. He's a demanding individual. There used to be peace in my prison. But now they're rabid dogs. He turned all the gangs against each other. So. Either OCP doesn't know who they're dealing with, or there's something fishy going on. 
I suspect OCP knows more than they are telling. I'm here to verify that. Ah, uh, good. Come see me after your interview. I have a humble gift for you and your police friends for keeping my business alive. OCP funds you. But Becker is not your inside man. Who is? You're not going to ask me how I'm settling in. Answer me. Places like this do me good. I even quit smoking, you know? The trick is to keep your hands busy. Fraternization with criminals is not embedded into my programming. You're selling yourself short, Alex Murphy. You didn't expect to hear that name from me, did you? I used to think that erasing the memories of your past life would help you the way it helped me. Oh, but I was wrong. And I want to make it up to you by giving you that life back. I am here to enforce the law, not to play your games. But you wouldn't mind a, a game of baseball with your son again. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. Is that why you needed all those dead bodies? I could tell you more if you promise not to stick your nose in. I want details of the project and the names of those involved. Our time is up. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty handed. So let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. Tread carefully. It's the last chance for you and your family to be together again. We have to take the prisoner back to his cell. Looks like a full-blown riot is going down. Whatever is going on, this slime is involved. Could be, but now we have to focus on the other prisoners. They're armed and storming the warden's office. We need your help. Robo? I will turn them to the path of reform. They out here throwing a rat? I'm gonna need my gun. I'm gonna need my gun. I'm already seeing the dookie. Your man has arranged a Oh, and they shoot. And they shoot. Take it. Easy. It's a nasty wound, but you'll be fine. Robocop! These scumbags got into the armory. Never mind. Hand it out everywhere. Fucking hot dogs. I ain't got nothing for this, though. Wait, there's a new objective? Alright, let's do. Let's do both of these. Legal broadcast, Windows confession, armory breaking is where? Right in front of us? All right, let's go. Shot the shit out there.
down below. Don't just fucking stand there! They have her dumb as hell for that. That came from! I can't even do the the second side mission until I get through here. <laughs> Damn! What happened to his body? I didn't turn my sensitivity up to do that. That challenge. You get 250 at the, the firing range. I might need to turn that shit down now. And now, anatomy corner. What does the heart of a snitch bitch look like? Is it rotten? Is it black or stony? Come to the kitchen and. The heart of a snitch bitch is crazy. <laughs> I looked it up. Uh, it wasn't just me, the, um, the shooting, shooting on the game is not smooth. It's hilarious. It was kind of like when Cyberpunk first came out. I couldn't even really, really play the game the way I needed to on, on Cyberpunk until I got the, uh, the what's the call pistol, Skippy. It changed my life. I almost killed y'all. Hurry, stupid guards. Hey, Ted, man, are you working in prison now? Almost killed all three of them. Fellow guards, they ain't getting our help no more. That damn. What's it called? It's so dramatic, the breach animation. The nuke. I need to get 600. How you doing, sir? You got his. I blew his damn head off. See that shit? I don't have any reason to use another gun. It's just too good. Nah, I don't like that. Any gun with a scope on it, I can't use it on extreme difficulty. Trying to get to that radio run. Okay, this gives us a way to get back down there. And then, is there anything special up here? All backtracking. I bet. All right, we're trying to we're trying to get this control of this radio room. I just don't know how close we are. To it. out the way. Warden's office is right here. I don't want to open that yet. I want to get down there. How do I get down here? Oh my God. Back 
Let's backtrack real quick. Hold on. Another, that's another room cleared out. Oh no, alright, we're perfect. Okay, we're right by it. We're right by it. We're good, we're good. Slowly re really interrupted by these inmates. Guys. How do we? Uh. All right. And this is tricky. We're good though. Robocop, I owe you. We have to stop these creeps from taking over the prison. You bet we do. Wendell has to be behind this. I need to find him. I knew he was up to something. His cell is in Block B. And Robocop, give him my regards. I will give him much more than that. Call me on the radio if you need me. What, what, what help could you possibly be? I just had to save your Sir. life. Block A is clean. Good. Let's keep it that way. All right, here we go. Why is Helen here now? Whoa! That's, uh, not what I expected. We need to seal off this area. If you go further, you won't be able to turn back. So, do you want to proceed? Hell no. I must finish something first. All right, it can wait a little longer. Glad you're here, Robocop. But I think I saw someone, someone from the outside. Those couldn't have been prisoners. They were armed to the teeth. Remember my promise? I've got a wife and kids, please. I promised you that one day I'd blow your head off. Who was that? Warning one, checking in. We're approaching the client. God damn. <laughs> There's no threat. Robocop. New arrival. I saw them. They must be the ones who released the prisoners. The riots are a smokescreen for Wendell. They're heading for his cell. I am on my way there now. Am I stuck, man? God damn it. All, all this shit's in the yard. Hold on, what was that? I don't need that. I'm not an enemy. Oh, right, well, you ain't got to yell. Yeah, I'll shoot you, man. You look like one of them. I shoot the innocence, brother. Your mouth, man. I still need to uncover 
for some evidence here if we want to try to get that bonus XP. Help! Somebody help! He's gonna kill me! Just give me... What is the situation? That, that, that guy takes bribes from prisoners and wants to blow my head off because I snitched on him. Oh, bullshit. This lowlife garbage is hiding a gun. I just want to disarm him and cuff him. If you let him cuff me, he'll kill me! Just let me go! I know where the other guards are! I'll head there right away! Oh, man. Cuff him! All right, scumbag. Playtime's over. Show me your hands. I hope I picked the right shit. I don't know that. Naive as I thought, Robo Pig. One day I'll blow your head off. Oh, okay. I picked the right option. There's a whole ass rat going on. I can't really let nobody go free. Pay more to God damn, hey man, this gun is hitting. Okay, there's supposed to be something in, over here somewhere. Confidence room. You're done. Wendell's cell is empty. Intruders beat me to it. Robo, I'm just getting a signal that the hostiles were spotted moving towards the property store. Wendell included. I will meet them there. Don't disturb me! I have laundry to do! You are not safe here. No, I can't lose this job. It's the only thing that's keeping me sane. Besides, I've got orders. You are in emotional shock. You should report to the guards and get professional assistance. I've already lost one job because of you. I won't let you do it again. Get lost. Sorry, Maurice. Little Maurice. Maurice! Did I get? Please tell me I got it. I think I got close. 
least 75 more. He running down here with, with a big ass gun. See him? notes with the uh ah! Someone throws the switch! Why should I do that? Good, good. Not such a can headed piece of shit after all. That's what the other inmates call you, but I, I don't. <laughs> Not anymore, at least. <laughs> Thank you. Neck moving like that. Where the hell did he go? We just let him. We let him out. Okay. Out on the wrong guy. Right, once we jump over here, we can't go back. All right, looks like he busted other soldiers. I know more. Bopping like that, man. Can I get buckets? Hold up. Can I get buckets? Can I get hold up? Hold up. Here. The guy's got a ticket for the mercy seat in a month, but he was shot 
It looks like justice will get him sooner. <laughs> That's no reason to leave me here to die! I can't take him with me and I'm not gonna stay here. Justice can only be served by executing court orders. You're more human than this fucking jailer! Yeah, the voices don't match the faces on here, man. Remind me what they did on Gotham Knights, man, when they had that... Man, his voice did not match his character at all. It was killing me, brother. Is gonna be helping there. Apparently not. Now this one's open and ain't shit in here. Nothing. Like sick serial killer set up his ass. None. How they all moving like that? Soccer pro, man. Compromise. Anybody else feeling good? Skill point, yes, oh yes, absolutely. Just knew there's gonna be somebody sitting in here. Say make it home to your family, man. Can you believe that? Get on my way. 
Last week I finished organizing the stuff down here with a brand new system. And today, those fuckers showed up and messed everything up. Where did they go? To the parking lot. You have to bust them. I'll be cleaning this shit up until retirement. The scum's over there, hiding behind his bodyguards. You need to smoke him out. Smoke him out. Shot me! I'm out here shooting the innocents. Bro, it's so hard to see in this. I thought this was a prisoner with an orange jumpsuit. Shoot the enemies when they're throwing grenades, and it'll blow them up. It's amazing. Generosity. I'm really happy this game don't have no healer. You could dodge a wrench, you could dodge a ball. Can't you get it through that thick skull? You're supposed to stay away from my business if you want to get your past life back. How about we save part of that life right now? I sent some guns to the hospital to rectify my mistake and finish the job with your friend Lewis. But it was before we talked. I would have called off the hit, but I had to take care of you and your fellow guards. So, I guess it's over to you. And you better hurry! Him glitching, man. All serious. When you need him most, he glitch out. Now we at the hospital. Okay.
Casualties at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I need assistance. Possible hostiles in the vicinity. I was gonna play this start to finish till we're done so I could stop wearing this costume. Because what I'm dealing with with this costume is a lot. Lewis. She ain't dead. She killed somebody. Though. I'm all right, Murphy. I'm all right. Oh, thank God you're safe. We've missed you, officer. How are you feeling? A little banged up, but I've certainly been worse. That Wendell guy needs to pay for what he did. And he will. But when? How many more innocent people have to get shot before that happens? OCP doesn't have our back. We know that Wendell's working for him. You know what we should do? Don't even say it! We should go on strike. Yeah! Sergeant, how can we go out on the streets knowing that the people who hire us are working against us? Don't forget about the robots. We will discuss this further, but first, Murphy? It's time for your evaluation. <laughs> Don't ask. Up on what's been going on, partner. Okay, hold on. There's a hit the lobby. Okay, there's a there's a guy in the lobby. Right, we'll go get an evaluation first. Will that will that guy pop up first though? No? Jess, no Jess? Oh my god, Lewis is back. Hey, Steph, how's my hair? Looks like an elephant now took he, a dump on that, Look at him. It ain't gonna go that way for you, buddy. Please, have a seat. All right, evaluate me. I should get an A. I did all the missions, but I, I probably missed a safe stash. All right, that's 2,000 right there. Guess not. Damn it. Still got an A. That's fine. That's it for me. Where is Dr. Blanche? I am supposed to undergo an evaluation. Oh, right. She called. Said that she wouldn't be able to make it today. Actually, she wanted you to call her. She seemed distressed. Janowski escapes from a high security prison. Now the cops are thinking about going on strike. What happens if some dangerous criminal breaks out from the cell? Dr. Blanche. Thank you for returning my call. I, I don't know what to do. Who to trust? What seems to be the problem? My research that I was conducting on you. It's gone. All the data that I collected is missing from the precinct. If someone felt comfortable stealing my computer, they may come after me once they realize that most of my records are on paper. 
OCP has been adamant about me keeping all the records on my computer, but I don't trust technology, and I don't trust OCP. I keep most of my records with me in my notebook. I don't know who to turn to, except you. Where are you now? Home. You are not safe there. Meet me at the Star Motel. Yes, I know the place. I'll meet you there. Thank you. I mean, if they're stealing records and shit, wouldn't they be listening to phone calls as well? I'm not leaving here till I know what happened. Sir, can you please calm down? I'm a respectable citizen. I won't be treated like this. Murphy, you busy? This guy's really a handful. Do you mind taking over? Hey, don't talk about me like I'm some kind of problem. The real problem is that one of you ignored my call for help. Sir, none of our dispatchers would do such a thing as receive a call and not act upon it. So maybe the next thing you're gonna tell me is that I wrecked my own fish shop. Plenty of people attempt insurance fraud. How dare you? My family has been serving that neighborhood for generations. You should know that I have many offers to buy out of the shop. But I would never sell out to OCP, unlike you lot. I need to speak eye to eye with the man who ignored my call this afternoon. Just a moment, sir. Murphy, I think it's your new buddy who's been on dispatch duty today. Could you check this matter with him? Something's going down in the locker room. Let's check it out. Okay. These little side quests are really fast usually. It was you sitting on your ass in dispatch when my cousin called the police. He got shot because no officer showed up. It appears there's a technical problem. I reported it to OCP. You see? He said it himself. That little snitch reports everything to OCP to undermine our efforts. That's not right. I answer all... Yes, it's not right, and you'll answer for that. Put them up. <laughs> I ain't gonna fight you. We're police officers. No, you got that all wrong. You never were and never will be part of this team, because you're not a real cop. You may fool some of us, but I can smell a rat a mile away. Attacking a fellow officer is a violation of the law. I will not allow it. Of course you won't. You're both OCP's puppets covering for each other. This is bullshit! Come on, Steph. Let's just go. Whatever, man. Hey, Steph, I'll slap the shit out, you bitch. Your stress level appears to be high. I recommend using a health pack. I'm guessing you're not here just to check my vitals. Can I help? There has been a complaint about police ignoring calls. You mean other than this one? I had a feeling something was wrong with the switchboard. Can you meet me in the dispatch room? I want to show you what I mean. Oh, they really are ignoring calls. Are you going to ignore the, the black man call? OCP brought new equipment in. I mentioned to the technicians that I thought something was wrong with this switchboard, but they said not to fuss as this stuff is top of the line. Maybe you could have a look at it? Ignore my black brother's calls. Found something? This cable looks out of place. I will see where it leads. Police, what's the emergency? Hello? I just called, and I believe someone hung up on. Okay, just remain calm. Officers are on their way and will be with you shortly. I haven't even finished my last sentence, and you... 
Thank you for contacting the police. Stay safe. So, any luck finding what's wrong with it? The switchboard has been tampered with. Calls are being patched through to a concealed answering machine. That's seriously messed up. But it's definitely not all the calls. I've been receiving a pretty decent share of them. But have a look at this. I marked the map with all the calls I've answered this week. One entire district seems to be completely empty. Yeah, and it's that rundown neighborhood. We need to find out what's going on over there. An opportunity presented itself. There is a victim from there awaiting an apology. Okay, let me take care of that. I'll tell you what I find once I'm done. I can't undo the injustice you suffered, but I want to make it right. I'd like to start by visiting your store. Maybe I could take your statement there so I don't keep you here any longer. Finally, someone who's hearing me out. I want to see you by the end of the day. Otherwise, this matter goes straight to Mayor Kuzak. Once I finish my dispatch duty, I'll come right over. Good. Good. I can take my leave now. It's the perfect opportunity to check out the area and learn what the locals know, don't you think? I agree. If you're not busy with your other duties, maybe you could join me there? Okay. situation, we can't... We have to leave the precinct for that one. Let's go ahead and regroup. Murphy, you're here. Let's start with what you found out at that prison. I will show you somewhere private. I think I've got the place. Afterlife. So someone in OCP is working with Wendell on another big project? If not Becker, then who? Sorry to disappoint you all, you ungrateful fucks. You didn't think I'd find you here, did you? Since I'm already here, entertain me. If I'm no longer your suspect, then who is? I mean, we're all thinking it, so I might as well say it. What if it's the old man? Ha! <laughs> You've got some balls to even mention something like that. Nevertheless, good luck. Even if it's true, he's untouchable. Unlike you, I've got some work to do. Final preparations before the expo. So wish me luck. Good luck. <sighs> Becker's right. We can't just go on accusing people without proof. What else is there? Seems that Wendell found himself another gang to work for him. What do we know about them? Guns for hire. He's paying a lot for their services. They're supposed to be very computer-savvy, real high-tech shit. Dr. Blanche mentioned her computer was hacked. Then I think we found ourselves a new lead. Murphy, I want you to pursue this. I will pay Dr. Blanche a visit. All right, everyone dismissed. Can't wait to go back out there, partner. You're not going anywhere. But, Sarge... I need you here. Uh, Murphy, may... Mayor Cusack wants to talk to you. He's waiting in Reed's office. The mayor again? And I ain't talking to that dude, man. Is it, is it completely necessary? I really don't want to talk to the mayor. He's a weirdo. You called? I did, Frankenstein. I hate to sound like a broken record, but the election is days away. The future of this city is at risk. That's why I wanted to be blunt with you. I want your support. Just tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it. Is it money? Do you want me to pay you? I will remind you, Mr. Mayor, that bribing voters is illegal. But if that's what it takes, 
You know as well as I that we can't have OCP rule this city. I may have overheard that there are some serious accusations pointed at the old man himself. What more do you need to know to support me? I will think about it. Sure. Take your time, but not too much time. The election is in two days. I ain't mean to support that dude. I just came over here to talk to the dude. I ain't sad supporting him. Bullshit, man. We're killing ourselves to put those bastards behind bars, and the next thing you know, they're back on the street. All right. Don't get me Nothing really changes. Get to the next one, boys. I'll see y'all in a second.